What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again, talking today about what is division? The age-old question, what is division? This is video one of our division playlist. We hope you stick around and check out the other ones as well, but let's dive right in. So our objective for today, today I will be able to label the parts of a division equation and know the two types of division. Division is a number split equally into groups. Right? It could be any number. It could be a small number, a big number, a fraction. It's a number split into equal groups. Right, And that's very, very important, which is why it's red and bolded, that it is equally. right. And so that is what's happening when, you, when you're dividing. You're taking something um, in, in math that's a number, and you're splitting it equally into groups. So there are actually two types of division problems. And a lot of people don't really know this or think about it, but there are two types of division problems. Let's check out the first one. First type of division is partitive division. And so uh, we're going to take a little bit, a dive into that, what that actually means. But first, right, here's our division equation. Now, the first number is our dividend, right? And so no matter what type of division you're doing, the dividend is the first number. And this is a number that's being shared or split or separated. It's the number or the thing that is being cut. This is what is being split up equally. Whatever it could be, it is a number, but it could represent anything. It could be a piece of wood. It could be pizza. It could be a drink. It could be anything, right? This is what is being shared, split, separated, cut equally. The second number in our division equation is called the divisor, and that never changes. The second number is always called the divisor. The third number is called the quotient, right? And that's the answer to our division equation. So it's very important you know these three terms. Now, this never changes. No matter what type of um, division we're doing, the dividend is the first number, the divisor is the second number, and the quotient is the third number. However, in partitive division, the meaning of the divisor is different than in the other type of division. In partitive division, we are trying to find the parts in the equal groups. So in partitive division, our divisor is how many groups that there are, okay? So how many groups? So it's this is being separated, whatever number this is, is being separated, shared, split into equal groups. So the divisor is gonna tell us how many equal groups there are, and the quotient is gonna tell us how many or how much are in each group. And so this is why it is partitive div uh, division. You're trying to find the parts in the group. So how many are in each group? So in partitive division, something is being shared, split up, separated, that's a dividend. It's being split into equal groups, and the divisor is a number that tells us how many equal groups. And we are trying to find the parts of those groups, or again, how many are in each group. So here's an example problem. The numbers aren't very big, and, but that's not the point. The point is to understand this type of division. So in this partitive division equation, there are 12 apples you want to split equally into bags. You have six bags. How many apples are in each bag? So our divisor, the thing being split, are the apples, right? And you are splitting them equally into bags. So our divisor is going to be our six bags because that's how many groups there are, right? So the, in this word problem, the bags are the groups. And it's asking us right here how many apples are in each bag. In other words, you're trying to find the parts in the groups. You're trying to find out how many parts are in each bag. And then in this um, word problem, the apples are the parts. So how many apples are in each bag? So if you were to write this using our blank division equation, you would have 12 apples being separated into six equal groups and that is going to give you two apples in each group. So we found that there are two parts to each group, hence the name partitive division. So the next type of division is called quotative division. In quotative division, you still have your same division equation. Your dividend is still first. It's still the number that is being shared, split, separated equally. You still have your divisor and you still have your quotient. And so these, the three names of each of the numbers don't change, but in quotative division, the dividend stays the same. The divisor is not how many groups you now are have, but how many are in each group, 
So how many in each group? And so this is kind of the opposite of partitive division when the quotient was telling us how many in each group. Now they're going to tell us how many in each group and we are trying to find the quotient, which is going to be how many groups now. And so let's take a look at an example problem with the same exact number, same type of thing. Our dividend is still our 12 apples, right? Because that's what's going, oops, that's what's going to be split up. Now you want to put six in each bag, right? So you have, you want to take those 12 ap apples and you're going to put six in each bag. And your answer is going to be how many bags do you need? So in other words, you have your 12 apples. You are still dividing them by six, except now your six is how many are in each bag, and you're trying to find out how many bags you need, which of course would be two bags. So the numbers are the same in this division equation, but they mean different things. The dividend is the same, but for this one, the divisor is how many were in each bag or each group, and your quotient was how many groups. So let's take a look at the basics you were supposed to learn in this video right? And so first of all, the division equation is made up of a dividend divisor and quotient. There are two different types of division word problems. They both have a dividend and the dividend means the same thing for both of them. The dividend is what is being shared, split, separated, or any other synonym for those equally, right? Now equally is very, very important um, because division is something that's being split equally, right? So any of these three words or something else that means the same thing. In partitive division, the divisor is how many groups there are, right? How many groups? And the quotient is going to be the opposite of that, how many are in each group. Because in partitive division, you are trying to find the parts of that group. Now, the names of partitive and quotative division, you don't necessarily need to know those particular terms. It just, you know, makes you sound really smart. But you do need to know that if the divisor is telling you how many groups, then the quotient is going to tell you how many are in each group. That's going to be very, very important for you to understand what's happening when you're dividing for word problems. In the other type of div division, quotative division, the divisor is going to go ahead and tell you how many are in each group, right? Such as they were splitting six apples in each bag. And the quotient is going to be the opposite of that. How many groups do you need? And so these are the basic things that you need to understand about division. Division is when you are splitting something into equal groups. The dividend is that number or thing being split. The divisor can be one of two things. It can either be how many groups, such as they were splitting 12 apples into six bags. And then if that is your divisor, then the quotient will tell you how many were in each group. So the question will say, there were 12 apples, they wanted to split them into six bags, how many were in each bag? The second type of division, the dividend is the same, right? The divisor could tell you, okay, how many were in each group? So there are 12 apples, they want to put six in each bag, and then your quotient will, the quotient would be, how many groups did you need? So the question might say there are 12 apples, you put six in each bag, how many bags did you need? So it's very, very important to know how the divisor and quotient work together and also what the dividend is. If you got those three things, then you are good to go. As always, please check us out on YouTube at Instructed Beats Official. We have three awesome division songs that we would love for you to check out. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. And always email us any questions at instructedbeats at gmail.com. Instructed Beats, out!